I'm not gonna fucking sell out to the losers. If you have the courage to do this, you will build a team no one else in this world has ever built, and you will get freaking rich. One, two, three, four steps I take from my bed to the floor. Five, six, seven. Let's go! All right, guys. Do you think your family gets more proud of you when you change your team's life and the people you work for, or the money you make? Yeah. But how many of you really think about that? You think about the money. See, this is where everybody gets beat. So what I want to do is I want to tell you guys how to get rich. I want to tell you guys how to make more money than you ever imagined. By the way, what's your definition of rich? Me and my wife, before we had money, were marriage millionaires. I don't need any money. I'm rich with my wife. If we don't have any money, I'm rich. Does that make sense? Okay, you guys being a Meraki, without money, you're rich. What you do with your opportunity with Meraki will decide whether you'll ever get rich with money, if that's what you want. So my goal is to tell you how to create a team that's unrecruitable. Number one means nobody can recruit them. Nobody can take them, nobody will steal them, and they'll never want to leave. And these kind of people don't work for money. It's totally opposite of everything else in the world. What I'm gonna tell you today goes against the grain what everyone's ever taught you about business. And I'm gonna tell you because in three years we built a nine-figure business, we built a brand. I accidentally became an influencer. I didn't plan on doing that. By the way, all of you are influencers. You know what an influencer is? A leader. It's all they are. Are leaders influential? That's what they do, they influence others, right? Hey guys, I'm in the flow state all day long. If you walk around me, I'm gonna put you in a good mood, I'm gonna make you feel like you're powerful when you're around me, and I'm gonna make you feel like you can do anything. That's what I do, that's what leaders do when they're around people. So what I wanna tell you guys is how do we use that? Are you guys all the same way? No, you need to be the same way. When you're around people, you need to let yourself go and be like, dude, this person ran into me, I'm gonna change your life. I walk in the gas station, I don't know you, but you're gonna to wanna to know me here in a minute. That's the goal. This whole world right now, where are they at? They're on their phones, am I right? Yep. What do you think they're looking for? They're looking for someone to look up to. They're looking for someone they want to be like. Well, that's what you guys want. You guys want these people, am I right? You guys, if you want to recruit the whole world, I'm going to tell you how to do it right now. Now, everybody do me a favor. Get a clean piece of paper. Because when I leave here, here in a minute, and I'll see your teams tonight, I'm going to change their lives. But ultimately, it doesn't matter if I change their lives if you guys don't switch your perspective. Because if you, if you leave here the same, your life, 2024 is going to be the same. Okay, so everybody write down technology, write down inventory, write down building. Just write these things down. Inventory, buildings, marketing, write down technology, sales processes, all this stuff. Write down all that. And then whatever else you want to add to it at the bottom, I want you to write human capital. Does it matter with all those top things if you don't have the right people, yes or no? Okay, so everybody do me a favor. Without the right people, you guys will not do all this cheering. Yeah, we're going to kill it, baby. We're going to take over the world. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not because you don't have the people you need. You can have Sales Rabbit. You can have Aurora. You can have all this. None of it matters without the right people. Okay, but if you guys don't become who you need to become, the right people will never come to you, and the people who are with you won't turn and change also because you haven't changed. This will be the deciding factor in this room whether 2024 is really the greatest year of your life or not. All of you guys. So right now we need to kill ego, we need to kill pride, we need to kill entitlement, and we need to go to truth for a minute. And people don't like the truth. And I tell the truth every day. The truth is ugly. Okay, if you had food on your face, would you want me to tell you? A lot of you guys right now, you don't look like the leader. I'm just being dead serious. You don't look like a leader. You don't talk like a leader. I can sit around you. Your eyes don't look like you're the leader. You got loose eyes. You're not taking care of your family, okay? You're, you're living double standards, you're bullshitting around, you're talking negatively, you're talking shit on someone in your team who don't produce. Great leaders, their, their level of how good they are as a leader reflects the bottom 80% of their floor. The top 20% of the entire Meraki team right now could leave, go work for any solar company, and any leader they would produce because they're driven. Am I right? What about the bottom 80? The bottom 80 is why we develop as leaders because that's where the money's at. The top 20 are not going to produce Meraki taking over the world. It's the bottom 80. You want to know where the big money's at? It's at the bottom 80. So some of you, the bottom 80, you guys talk shit on the bottom 80. You're like, oh, that guy's lazy. That guy doesn't do shit. Who's in charge? Who trained him? Who hired him? Where's his leader? That, that's where 2024 we take over. So everybody do me a favor. I just want you to write this down. Another fresh piece of paper. Tell me who you want to recruit in 2024. Do me a favor, write down, what kind of energy do they have? Okay, do they drink? Do they smoke? Are they in shape? How do they dress? 
Do me a favor, I want you to write down, if you could recruit right now in every office a hundred people, and you could literally like build this person like a cyborg. You're like, dude, like you guys, right? If you're like, I need a hundred of him. Okay, so you're writing down, you know, fixes his hair nice, dresses sharp when he comes to work, has a great attitude, lots of energy, goes to the gym, eats clean food, doesn't speak negatively. Guys, come on, write it down. Come on, I need you to write this down. Write down your dream employee, your dream teammate. Write down, if you're gonna become a multi, multi, multi millionaire, who do you need by your side? What kind of person are you after? Because you must define, everybody, before you can get the, bl the blueprint doesn't matter. What do you want? Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor, I'm gonna tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Everybody's always like, dude, I wanna go get this. People don't know what they want. You wanna get rich? Human capital, you guys need people. People gotta make these calls. People gotta talk to people. You need people. We can fix all the technology, but until we fix people, we can use the old technology and get rich with better people. Am I right? Absolutely. Okay, cool, so the technology is a bonus. The technology is not gonna make us rich. The technology is gonna make it easier, it's gonna make it more accurate, it's gonna keep us from losing money that we were making, and then it'll help us scale and make money with the right people. So everybody, listen, this meeting in leadership today isn't gonna to be very long, but it's the truth. Does everybody got it wrote down who, who they want? Yeah. Okay, what'd you write down? What kind of person do you want? I said uh, somebody who's hardworking, nicely dressed, high energy, clean eating, an honest person. Cool, what'd you write? Uh, I wrote honest, big one. Um, honest, yeah, high energy, um, you know, just a couple more. But basically, yeah. What'd you write? Honesty. Okay, but what, but, but what do these people look like? Are they like, do, listen, do they look at you in the eye when they talk to you? Do they shake people's hand? Do they tell the truth? What are these people after? What are their core values? Do they got a family? Do they have children? Are they younger? Are they 20 to 22 years old with no family? So they like have nothing in the way of giving everything they got? Or are they people that are 27 years old, they got a kid and they're in a relationship and you know that they got to take care of their family? What kind of person do you want, right? Okay, now I'm going to ask you a question. Yes, sir. I wanted to add, uh, somebody that's 20 to 90, 99 years old in this business, somebody that has uh, good communication skills, and somebody that's a problem solver. That's it. Somebody who sees opportunity and not problems. Somebody who's ready to solve sh By the way, can I ask you a question? You can't solve anyone else's problem if you can't solve your own problems. A lot of you in here, you're in charge of a lot of people or a couple people, and you're trying to solve other people's sh but you don't solve your own problems. You're not the leader. You're not the leader, you're the boss, and people work for a boss for a paycheck. I heard someone say right here that when, I think it was him, he goes, when everybody, it went down, we lost a lot of good people because they were making good money and they left. Guys, you know why those people left? Because we trained them to, for, for money, we trained them money. Hey, you come work for me, I'll make you good money. You wanna make good money? You wanna make good money? Come with me, come with me. Don't ever train someone that way. If you wanna become a good, person, human excellence. You want to be a great person. You want to self-develop yourself, right? You want to become a person that other people look up to. Do you want to become a leader? If you want to become that, I want to invest in you so you can go very far with me. And a byproduct of becoming a great person in being with me in loyalty, which is something that I live for, I have to have loyalty. If you're not going to be with me long-term, big picture, no loyalty, I don't want you with me. I don't want to invest in you for six months. Guys, quit trying to bring people on part-time for six months. No, tell them what you want. Your wife will tell you, I want you to do this, 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 this. If you do that, I'll do this. I promise you. That's what I want. We need to be direct. I want you to be here long term. I know selling solar doesn't sound attractive. It's not selling solar. You're with me. I'm going to self-develop you. I'm going to make you a great human being. We're going to work on human excellence. That's what I want with you. I want to do life with great people. And it just so happens that doing life with great people and being surrounded by great people, there's a job involved. And this job is a level 10 earning opportunity. And if we become great people, it'll pay a lot of money. Isn't that cool? Yeah, cool. Okay. Now, if things get tough, I will never bell on you. I will always be here with you. I will suffer with you. You got a problem, bring it to me. I'll solve it with you. I swear to God, I'll never leave your side. I put it on my life. I swear. This is what the leader does. This is what the world's missing. You guys want to know how to build armies? Armies. 
literally offices of 500 to 1,000 people coming into work every day, ready for blood, sweat, and tears to go to war with the leader because they believe in the leader, and they know that the leader would never betray him. They know the leader would never talk shit on him. You look, people don't forget what you say about them. Every time you say something negative about somebody in your company, no matter what you think, it gets back to that person. Someone's telling. So what's the only thing we can do? Never say anything negative. Never. You must become what you want. You can't give your people what you're not. You guys in here, until everyone in this room changes, you need to start picking yourself apart. Okay? I live by double standards. I tell my people I want them to do this, but then I don't do that. By the way, maybe you don't know what you want. And that's the reason why you keep ending up with shit. Maybe you don't know what you want. Maybe you're like, we just need to hire some more people. You do not need to hire more people. We do not need bodies. We need people who believe how we believe. So how do we believe? We believe in human capital. We believe in people. We believe that we want to impact our people's lives even before the customers. We want happy customers, but if we can't change our own people's lives that work with us, how the hell are we going to change someone else's life when we're in their home? Preach. That's it, like, dude, you want your people walking in homes and people can look into their eyes and connect souls with them and be like, this person's a good person. I like this guy. You want that? That all comes and gets stemmed from the leader. All of it gets stemmed from the leader. It's all from the leader. The leader needs to fucking wake up and teach people how to live, how to think, how to spend money, how to save, how to treat your wife, how to treat your kids. When you come to me, I will show you your wife or your girlfriend. You ever cheat on her? You're fired, dude. I'm out. You cheat on her, you'll cheat on me. Look, I want good people around me. Call your shots. Let your people know how they have to live. If you have the courage to do this, you will build a team no one else in this world has ever built, and you will get freaking rich. But if you're a coward and you can't tell people to their face what you want, but say, I will only tell it to you because I'll live it myself. By the way, Max, if I ever lie, if I ever lie, pack your shit and get out of here because I will never lie to you. I don't lie. Now, I'm going to make mistakes, and so are you but we're gonna work through them together. I'll never cheat, I'll never lie, and I'll never betray you, and I'll never leave your side. That's a promise. And when you start operating this way, all of a sudden people are like, dude, I like this. Hey, it's hard, it's, it's hard. Like, I like that it's hard, but I, I believe you. And they can see in your eyes when you're telling the truth. Dude, your families want the same shit. The world's starving for leaders. Your families are starving for leaders. The, the, the customers are starving for leaders. But our people that are going to build this business are starving for leaders. So human capital is the key. When you guys change, everything changes. So who do you want to attract? That person's name that you wrote down on that piece of paper, that, that's who you want? All right, now can you become it right now. Draw a line in the sand. Stop being a fraud. I want you to do me a favor. I want to know in here who has the courage to change. I want you to just think to yourself, do I have the courage to change? Like seriously, like dude, can I ask you a question? Do you want your people in shape, yes or no? Like I'm asking you a question. Do you want them sluggish and slow or do you want them in shape and shit, ready to move all day and make money? Tell me what you want. What do you want? You want them in shape? All right, are you in fucking shape? Come on, listen, are you in shape? No, 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 but see, but the deal is, is that if we wanted it, we would have it. Once you decide what you want, you don't waver on the line anymore. You're either a good man, you're a bad man. You're either good to your wife, you're bad to your wife. You either go to the gym or you don't, okay? You got to decide, listen, right now I'm trying to tell you guys, whatever the hell that you're going to ask anyone else to do, you better, you better, before you tell them what you want, you better be really fucking careful. Now, you got the decision to do one or two things right now. Number one, stay the same. Be like, dude, I don't know if I'm ready to commit to that. It's fine, stay over here. I'm looking for the leader in here who wants to run an office of a thousand motherfuckers that'll die for that individual without money involved. They do not care about money. Money is a bonus. They do not care. People want to do life with people. People want to feel a part of something. That's what the world wants right now. You know how I know that? I literally became an influencer by putting my, I didn't, well, you know, when you start a business, you got to market, right? Max, so I'm like, I got to get on social media because marketing is really expensive. Let me try to build a brand. Well, what happens is I put my message out there. We start generating a lot of leads. I start doing a lot of business. But then I got people DMing me every day. They go, dude, I love the way you live. I love the way you believe. I love that you how you tell the truth. Andy, I want to I be in sales too. 
I also believe the same way you believe. Andy, can you help me find a good leader? Can you help me find a good company to work for? You think they give a f if they're working for a Frisbee company, a sales company, in, in real estate, or solar, or car sales? They don't give a shit. They don't care. You know what they want? They want the leader. They want the leader. You know how many people in here have had a shitty ass mom, a shitty ass dad, nobody ever caring them, nobody ever give a shit about them? This is our world right now. Everybody's fucking depressed. Everybody's got issues. This is why you guys got to wake up. You guys got to put your own motives behind you and be like, dude, I need to start being a fucking leader for people. And, and these people that are broken, which I was telling them, people that come from nothing can end up with the most. These people that are broken, I'm a broken person. I'm fucking really broken. I'm the most dangerous guy in the room because I'm broken. And if you show me loyalty, I will go to the end of the earth for you. And there's so many of you guys right now, you're looking for loyalty. Loyalty is built. You guys build your great team. You're not gonna find them, you're not gonna recruit them. You do not want another guy selling solar from another company. That is not what you're after. Dude, you go out there, you're like, I'm looking for somebody that sells solar. No, you don't. You wanna look for somebody that believes the way you believe and you wanna make them. Because selling solar is helping people help themselves. It's really easy. You guys need to build your army with the way you believe and then you can run with these people. And these people will work harder for you than anyone else that's ever worked for you in your life. And these two guys talked about brotherhood, sisterhood, family. Really? I know they're real, but really? Is that real? If somebody right now, I'm going to ask you a question. Like my team, just to let you know, my company, my team, I only got 100 people. So we're going to take any office in here. You got 100 people. I'm going to ask you a question. Do they have somebody that they live with? Boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, somebody that they do, that they, they do life with? Yes or no? Once a month, I have them all in the office, all of them. Max, I go over with them. I say, all right, all of you, thank you for being here with me. I want you to know how important your husband and your wife is, how important your girlfriend, your boyfriend is to me in this company. I want you to know my job, Max, when, you're, when your wife comes to work with me, my number one goal is to make her a better per person to come home for you and be a better woman for you. That's my number one goal, Max. Now, do I want her to make money? Do I understand that she has to make money at work? I totally understand that. But I want you to know the time she spends with me, if she cheated on you, I'd fire her. If she talks shit and she's negative, I'm going to check her. I promise you. Because I want her to go home and I want you to be proud of her and I want her to become a better woman when she's with me. That's my goal. That's my goal. I want everybody who works for me to become a better person. That's the deal. Is that what you guys want? That's what you must start demanding. Tell people, when they come work for you, I will create you to be a great person, period. Now, there's a lot of money on the backside of you becoming this person. But I explain to their families what I want for them. Why? Because what happens in two months from now, Max, when she's out and some guy's like, oh man, she's amazing. Dude, I'll pay you three times more than you're making now. You ever had somebody leave for money or a different opportunity? Well, guess what? When people go home and they find out, hey, man, she's got a good opportunity. Max, you're going to be like, dude, are you kidding me? Andy, all he wants you to do is become a better person. And he's invested in you. He's made our life better. He takes care of us. And you're going to leave him for money? Fuck no. No, we're not in this for money. Now the whole family's bought in that it's not about money. And at the end of the day, is it about money? Yes. No, it's not about money. <laughs> no. That's the problem. Money is easy. Hey, listen to me. If I opened a solar company right now, I'm going to tell you what I would do. I'm just going to tell you, if I opened a solar company right now, I would literally show people the way that I live for about two months online. I'd have DMs every day that goes, dude, I love you. You changed my life. I like watching your stuff. I'd be like, you know what? You need to come work with me. I want you, man. I, you know what? You want to spend more time with me? Your job is to not be the boss. Your job is to be the mentor. Listen, you want to lock everybody in for life. Become their mentor. Yes. Quick question. How do you deal with betrayal? I fucking fire you immediately. After you are, like, let's say you build that relationship, <coughs> you, you, you're like really committed to these people, and then all of a sudden they betray you in your face. Like they tell you they love you. Fire them immediately. Do not tolerate it. Listen to me. Let me tell you something, okay? I'm, I'm going to explain this to you. Everybody should know my heart. Everybody should know your heart. Everybody should know your intentions, okay? I talk about betrayal every day in my meetings. Every day, I explain to my team, just like this, I hate betrayal. Betrayal is my fear, but I'm not gonna stop living and I know that people are gonna continue to betray me at some point. I know one of you in this room, I'm gonna ask you to live at such a high standard that there'll be a day in which you can't do that no more and you're gonna wanna break and you're gonna wanna give up on this and I understand that, but I'm not gonna. 
and I love you, but when you do break, I need to send you on your way to somewhere else. And once you're out, you're out. And I love you to death. I will do anything for you. All I ask is that you have loyalty. I'm not in the army. I'm not in the Navy. I'm not a, in any kind of military, but I run my company militant. We run off loyalty. It means if you have a problem, you come to me and I will do anything to solve your problem. I literally will. I will take a bullet for you, but you can never lie to me. You can never lie. Don't ever lie to me. So I want us to have close enough a relationship where if something's going on, you tell me the truth. And by the way, like I ask people what they want. Would you rather go and work for someone and make a lot of money that doesn't care about you and your family or go and make less money for somebody that wants to develop you and does care about you and your family? Which one? I'll ask them. And they're like, well, I really need a lot of money. Cool. You're not right for me. I love you, man. Have a blessed day. Okay. You're going to find those people all around the world, but that's not here. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Like I tell people what we're about. I remind them the mission, the core values, the standards every day. Here's the reason why I don't get betrayed very often. Now, I want to tell you this. I literally just got betrayed last week. So this is a good thing that you told me this. You guys are going to get your heart fucking broke. Okay? What are you going to do? Fucking love harder. Who gives a shit? When my team watched me get betrayed, you know what I did? I said, you know what I'm going to do? Number one, I'm going to burn everybody's fucking eyes out with our winning. That's for sure. And I'm going to rip our competition throats out, like we've always said. But I'm not going to stop loving you guys. And because this person was a shit bag, I got a hundred of you. I love you guys to death. I'm actually going to love you guys harder now. This person thinks they're going to fuck with my heart. Nope, I'm just going to love harder. I'm just going to give more. I'm just going to care more. You can't tear me down. I can't get betrayed and then quit believing the way that I, that, that I want to live. I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to fucking sell out to the losers. See, and some of you guys in here, you have somebody betray you and you'll fucking sell out. You guys got a dream and all of a sudden your right hand man quits on you. Guess what? You'll sell out. Don't sell out. Do you guys understand what being a leader is? Number one, it's the people that you're in charge of. You make their lives better every day, every day. And when you make their lives better, listen, you got to teach them how to be a man. You got to teach them how to be a woman. You got to teach them how to take care of their family. You got to teach them, hey, you're going to be with me. When you go home after work, you're going to put your phone down, dude. You see this fucking thing? When you go home after working for me all day and you walk in your house and you pick this thing up, your wife's going to hate you. Your girlfriend's going to hate you, dude. You've been away all day. I need this thing to go in the trash can when you get home. I need you to go spend some time with her and be present, okay? Why? And don't complain to her. You got to tell your people, don't go home and complain. Don't complain to your wife. Don't complain to your girlfriend. Don't bring problems home. They've been waiting on you all day long. You're going to walk in the fucking house and complain? Number one, losers complain. Do you want your spouse to see you as a loser? No? Okay, cool. Then don't complain and act like a loser. Hey, I love you too. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just trying to say, let's go home and bring good energy to her. Hey, what am I doing? I'm teaching them how to go home and live a fucking personal life with the people they love. Am I right? Yeah. Hey, if you guys don't teach them, who are they going to learn it from? No one. They're never going to learn it. Then they're going to go home. They're going to fight with their girlfriends. They're going to go home, get on their phone. They've been working all day. They're complaining to their girl. I didn't make any sales in three days. And then she's like, why do you sell solar? And then she's like, I got a buddy that's got another job. He, he, he you know, they're, they offer us more money. Let's put some applications out. It's like, dude, you didn't train him right. Go home. Everything's going to work out. Sales, it's, it's always going to work out. The way you win in sales is you don't quit. Okay, I ain't going to let you down. I'm going to make you great. It may take time. It might be three months. It might be six months. Bro, but one day you're going to look up. You're going to be rich. That's my promise to you. You have to trust me. You guys must convince your people not to quit. Your people, when you're with them, you must take their brain out of their head and you must give them your brain. You must tell them how to operate with their family. You got to teach them how to get close to God. You got to teach them how to treat their teammates. You got to teach them, even though that guy's kicking your ass, cheer for him because he's your brother. You got you to gotta tell them this, shit, dude, because no one else is telling them and the world is telling everybody to be a fucking pussy. Don't hold accountability and blame it on everyone else and quit. That's the deal. So you got to retrain people. Human capital, okay? It's not product knowledge. It's people knowledge. I get you. I don't know what you've been through, but when you're around me, I'm going to give you a new identity. His ass is getting a new identity. You're going to believe different. You're going to think different. You're going to act different. You're going to believe different. You're going to see different. I'm taking your eyes out of your head and I'm giving you my eyes. 
That's what a leader does to somebody. The leader's the person that does all these, and they do it for 100 people, for 200 people, for 20 people. But you gotta fall in love with this. You guys are all, you guys are not solar leaders. You guys are fucking coaches. Everybody in this room's a coach. You're a coach, you're a coach. You don't tell people what to do. You coach people who they are. You literally rename people. You are, you are not who you think you are, you are this person. This is how I see you. This is who you'll be with me. This is your future. This is where you fit in big picture with me. This is how much I care about you. Also, who else do you care about? Your girlfriend? You got two kids? I wanna meet them, when can they come up? Hey, let me sit down, what's going on? I, I bet you've never sat down in an interview with your boyfriend before or your, or your husband. That's how much it means to me. You're a part of our family now. Do you understand? He has a level 10 earning opportunity. I'm going to make him a good man for you and the kids. He's also going to learn to make a lot of money. Your life's going to change. I need you to support him. I also want you to know at work, I'm going to positively peer pressure him to be a better man every day. Don't let him come home and complain. Don't let him whine. Only support him to be positive. He comes home and he's got a negative mouth, I want you to call me. Because we don't let him talk like a loser. I need you to make sure you don't talk like a loser either. What is loser, loser language? Raising your voice at each other, getting mad, fighting to win instead of fighting for resolution. We fight for resolution in relationships. We want to fix shit. We don't want to tear things down. You guys are not ever against each other. The world's against you. It's you guys against the world, but I got y'all's back. All of a sudden, they're like, Fuck, I like this. This guy makes us feel strong. We're a great couple. And dude, next thing you know, you got the greatest freaking team in the world. Everybody's operating like a machine. You're making more money than you know what to do with. And dude, everybody else in the world, rules, regulations, processes, rules, rules, rules. Nobody gives a shit. The rules can change. I tell my team every day, everything's going to change every day. But the good thing is we change every day, so who gives a shit? See, the rest of the world's bitching about solar changing. Dude, I change every day in my company. I'm dying for a change. I tell my people every day. I'm like, bro, let everybody get tripped up on changes. In our company, we change every day. I tell my company, I program them. Every day, what I love, watch this, I'm gonna brainwash you and tell you who are. You know what I love about all you? Is that we can decide today to pivot and go left instead of going right, and we'll all move like a team. Nobody will bitch, nobody will complain. We'll move fast. Where most companies move slow, we move fast. They're like, yeah, yeah, we move fast. So now if there's a change, they're like, dude, we move fast. Come on, what's a change? They're ready to go because they're all a unit. They're not against each other. Dude, you gotta take solar out of the equation. Take fucking solar out of the equation. You're a football team. You're a soccer team. You're a coach. You gotta teach people how to do, to get, do life together. You gotta teach them who they should hang out with outside of work, okay? What kind of friends should people have? People say, well, I, I, Andy, that's going too far. You shouldn't be able to tell your people who they hang out with. Bet your ass you can't tell people who they should and shouldn't hang out with. Come on. Come on, man. I mean, dude, you guys are leaving your the company up for chance? You think somebody that's taking them to the club, gonna go hang out with them or gonna go run around is gonna have anything good with what you're trying to do with them? Nope. Look, a lot of you, you gotta give up bad habits. A lot of you, you gotta kick out some weaknesses in your life. It's just the truth. Look, dude, it's a privilege to be a leader. It is a fucking privilege. It means this, if you want a badass team, you gotta be a badass motherfucker. You know why? Because there's a million other people out there that want a badass team just like you want. What makes you different? Why should everyone go to you? So how do I get a couple hundred DMs every day of people saying, Andy, where do I go work? Because I show the way I live online. I'm gonna tell you guys a secret. If you can do this and become who it is that you've always wanted to be, you know what I would tell you too? Now's the chance for all you to change. You guys wanna repeat 2023 again? F that. 2023, you could say it was hard. The reason why it's hard is because we trained our people off money. We're, not, we're never gonna train them off money again. You're gonna train people to be your family. You're gonna train people to free, and by the way, make the greatest salespeople, make them. Don't hire them. Guys, like, I don't care if someone in sales is, not, can you shake my hand, can you look in my eye? Can you believe, do you believe in me? When we're talking together right now, do you have a, a special feeling? Cool, I, I can feel your soul. You look like a good person. People can feel that when you walk in the house. All we're gonna do is help people. This is easy. When you get on the phone with somebody, when you're a good person, everybody will buy from you. Like, that's just the rule, man. Like, you don't even have to sell them. You don't have to be good at sales. Like, you just got to be a good person. But who's the leader? And the leader needs to be a good person, but also a vicious savage. These people will work harder for you than anyone else in this world. And I mean this when I say this to you guys. A lot of you, you get distracted really easily. A lot of you right now, the reason why 
you're not going to grow when you get out of here is because you're not present. See, we're here in this room right now, and I'm in this room with you right now. When I'm with my wife, I'll be with my wife. When I'm at my job, I'll be at my job. When I'm at the gym, I'll be at the gym. But right now, I'm talking to you guys. I'm here present in this room. And I'm going to tell you why I beat most people's asses. Because they're never really where they are. They're either in the future or they're in the past. They're never really where they are. And you guys are here right now, and I love that you guys are coming together. I heard this east-west bullshit, like two teams coming together. Can I ask you a question? Do you guys all together want to take over the world? Well, at the end of the day, hey, fuck what anybody said about anybody in this room. You guys got to forget all that shit. You guys got to forgive each other. Because I'm going to tell you this. Have a little bit of resentment between two people. What happens when a husband and a wife are together and they got resentment? They get a divorce. You guys really want to fucking start your life over? You want to really start somewhere else one day? No, then protect what you have. I'm going to ask you a question. Is this company worth fighting for? If it is, then stop fucking saying stupid shit. And a lot of you in here, you, you've got a voice and you've got a lot of power and you're the one fucking shit up. Dude, you've got a bad habit of being nasty. You don't like betrayal, but you're actually betraying the company. And look, dude, I'm just telling you that if it's you, like, just draw a line in the sand and say, stop. You know what I tell you? Once you change, everything's going to change. You all guys have seen The Secret on Netflix, The Law of Attraction. You've heard every successful person talk about The Secret, The Law of Attraction, you know? Like, dude, manifestation is real. You guys can sit here right now and you can say, in 2024, we are going to recruit 5,000 people, okay? Who are they going to come work for? The greatest leaders that ever lived. What do they look like? Well, what kind of person do you want to recruit? They're in shape. They take care of themselves. They have a good energy. They have a great attitude. They tell the truth. They hold themselves accountable. They don't, live, they don't have double standards. By the way, listen, <laughs> this is a fucking big secret. Who you are at work is only half of it. Also, who you are with your family defines who you are as the leader. Because I'm going to tell you this. What I've learned now is that everybody's going to do life with somebody at some point. So if you'll notice, I roll with my wife everywhere. My wife's with me everywhere I go. I praise her, I honor her, I have her everywhere with me, everywhere I'm at. You know why? Because I'm telling everybody at some point you're gonna roll with someone, okay? And that person needs to be your battle mate. She ain't my queen. I don't fill up her purse full of cash and let her go to the mall. She's my fucking battle mate. We go to war, okay? So like, I want you to see how I roll with my wife because I want you to have the same thing with your family. Now, by the way, that excites you because you're like, damn, hell yeah, I like this. This is good for me because most people that had a, hadn't had a good mom or dad growing up and seen a great marriage. And then also the person that you're with, they see that you're looking up to me, they'll also start looking up to me. Dude, our whole team looks up to me and my wife. You know why? Because I woke up at 39 years old, so I don't know how old you are, but I'm 44. At 39 years old, I looked in the mirror and I said, I don't fucking like me. I don't like me. I don't like who I am. I I've made a lot of money. I understand why my life keeps starting over. I understand why the all the money I make falls through my fingers. I understand. I'm sick of this shit. The reason why I've never gotten what I've wanted is because I've never became who I should have become. So you know what I decided to do? Tell the truth. Never betray anybody again. Literally, get in the best shape of my life, which is super important to me. I would tell you guys, if you'll take your health serious, you guys in here, want to, we want to attract 20 to 28-year-old guys or men or women that are hungry as shit and want to go to war and work like a son of a bitch. Who do you think they want to work for? Somebody slow and sloppy or somebody fast, quick, and sharp? Fast, quick, and sharp. Okay? That's it, guys. Look, like, listen, just look in the mirror and own your shit and be like, never again will I be in this fucking shape again. Never again. And by the way, I'm going to explain something to you. If you want to give everybody else everything you have, you have to start working on yourself, okay? You have to put yourself first. You got to start putting yourself first because as much money as you want to make, I dare you not take care of yourself. You're going to look up one day, you're going to be burned out, you're going to want to quit. And by the way, the way that you don't feel about yourself because you're not taking care of yourself, that attitude, that energy goes into everybody else. See, I take care of myself every day, so I love me. So every day, I'm fucking pouring into my fucking team like no other. You know, a lot of people, when their car runs out of gas, they don't put gas back in it. They sell their car. When most people get in a fight with their wife or their girlfriend, they'll just say, it, we'll get a divorce. I'll find someone else. Everybody quits on everything. But my team, I tell them every day, whatever we put into something is whatever we get out of it. You feel me? We got to put into the team. We got to put into each other every freaking day. You got to go home and put things into your wife. You got to treat it like it's day one. This is a level 10 earning opportunity. You can get freaking rich here, but you got to become who you need to become, and we got to do it together. We have to do it together. I would say an individual can be beat, but a team can't be beat. You got to build a team, but even stronger than a team, you got to build an army. 
Right now, if you had to go to war, there was a real war that broke out. Would your team be like, dude, I'm with you, let's go? A couple of them, but not all of them. You know why? You focus on the top 20%. The bottom 80% is where the, where, where the money's at. So we need to start working on those people, changing those people. And then lastly, if you guys want to recruit and you guys want to really bring in the greatest people, you don't have to do anything to recruit these people. Very simply, you just change. Once you change, they'll fucking start showing up. They show up. They just show up everywhere. Take your phone. Take this phone. You having a sales meeting with your team? Are you telling them how much you love them? Are you telling them what we do for a living? How we're going to change the world? How we're impacting our, our lives? We're changing others? And we're going to become legends? Put that shit on the internet. Okay? You have 50 people lined up saying, hey, I want to be a part of that. I want to be a part of that. Are you serious? Fly out and see me. Let's talk. Dude, they come up. They don't even care about money. They're like, dude, I need the leader. I need to be a part of something. Everybody is dying to be a part of something. And I'm only telling you guys that because... We have one, the fastest growing training company in the world. And I built it just by going out there and doing what I believe, which is I got tired of being freaking, I got sick and tired of being sick and tired of being a loser. Some of you guys right now, dude, you, you played sports when you were younger. You don't look like you play sports anymore. You know, as you get older, yeah, but you know, as you get older, you guys know this, as you get older, you know, muscle memory is pretty good, right? Do you guys understand that in maturity, as you get older, your body can actually do things it couldn't do when you were younger? Dude, you have no idea what your body is capable of when you get older. Dude, you can build a better body in your 40s than you could build in your 20s. Yep. Guaranteed. You can push harder too. Yeah, you can push harder because you're resilient and you know what to expect. Dude, listen, I'm trying to tell every single one of you, as we go into tonight and I talk to your team about going to another level, they're going to need to see their leaders change. And you can't tell them. You've got to show them. You know, like, I don't know if anybody's married in here, but if you go home and tell your wife you love her, she don't care. She likes it. She likes it when you show her that you love her. When you show her, she's like, oh, okay, I like that because I can see that. A lot of you in here, you keep telling your team what we're going to do, but you're not doing anything. You can't ask your team to become something you're not. You can't ask your team to give your customers something that you're not giving them. You can't ask your team to make the customers feel a certain special way if you can't get your own people that work for you to also feel that same way. I want you guys to realize this. The greatest thing that you guys could ever do is have empathy. Okay? And I want you to do this. Take every single person you run into from this point forward. And when you're talking to them, I want you to put yourself in their shoes. Take yourself out of your shoes. Forget about your life. A lot of you guys have good lives in here. Put yourself in their shoes and say, what would make this person run at, at, at a level that no one has ever seen? Probably you taking care of them, probably showing them love, probably telling them who they are. Everybody in this world has been told they're a piece of shit. Everybody in this world, somebody's given up on them at some point. Okay, everybody in this world at some point did something where they don't feel worthy to be a part of something. Hey, a lot of you guys are really good in here and you're great at what you do, but a lot of you, you, you fucked up somewhere along the way and the reason why you won't go to another level is because you're still holding on to that. I know a lot of people still hold on to some shit and shame and what I do is that I give people permission to go get their best life. And I say, hey, dude, whatever you've been through, I forgive you. I don't even care. Like, I'm done. Anything you heard about me in the past, it was probably true, and I did 10 times worse. Anything somebody tells me about you, don't care. From today forward, that's all I care about. I'm going to give you a fresh shot, whether you're good or bad, to become whoever you want with me. You're going to alter your identity. You're going to become whoever you want, and I'm going to give you permission to become whatever you say you want to become. Tell me what you want to do and I'll support you to become that person. Within 30, 60 to 90 days, that will be a brand new person sitting in front of you, another warrior who you have built. And this person, when you change their life, understand why I like underdogs. I'm just gonna tell you why I like them. When you change an underdog's life, they're indebted to you for life. They're indebted to you. You know what that means? You are the only motherfucker that helped them figure out their darkness. And they will, and they will fight for you until the end. And they will look up to you. And then all you got to do is just hold yourself accountable and become who you need to become. And dude, they'll run with you for life. And then everybody's going to be like, dude, how did you get the best team in the world? You're like, dude, these people were all broken people. What do you mean? I mean, they were all broken. But I woke up and I was broken. And hey, I, I like hiring people that hadn't have any problems. But normally those are the people that quit on me when they get a better job offer. Or quit on me when we go through a, 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 a market crash. Those are the people that quit. So I would tell you, 90% of the people in the world have been through some shit. Am I right? So what do you guys got to be? You got to be their counselor. You got to be their coach. 
Got to be their mentor. And guess what? Don't let them complain. I don't let my team talk to me like a loser. You know what that means? You say, I can't stop. You don't want to. We can do whatever the hell you want. You don't want to. Remember, everybody can do everything. It's just that they don't want to. Now, I believe you can. This is who I see you as, right? Now, let's go get it. Dude, people need someone to believe in them. I'm going to tell you this. This is crazy, and we'll finish on this. The leader's job is to get people to believe in themselves. The leader's job is to be the source of belief. If you in here can be a source of belief for, pe for people in which they cannot get anywhere else, and when they're around you, they feel powerful, and they feel strong, and they feel important. You know, I was telling Max before, I said, I met my manager, I could tell he was important, but then I met the leader, and I knew I was important. You make people feel like they're so important. You can make a billion dollars a year, it doesn't matter. Does he feel like a billion dollars when he's around you? How do you make people feel? Guys, this is the key to leadership. And by the way, there's this thing called the circle of safety. My team, when they're around me, they know I have their back no matter what. They can do anything, and I will literally be by their side. I do not care. But we have certain rules, certain standards, okay, that we live by, and we go over them daily. I say the word brainwash a lot, pe and people don't like that, but the news brainwashes people to be afraid and scared, and I brainwash people to feel powerful and raise their standards. Yep. That's what I brainwash them. I brainwash them that, look, a lot of people don't want you to, to, to be this way. A lot of people want you to quit. A lot of people don't want you to feel pain. A lot of people are going to tell you if you're having a tar hard time, go drink, go do drugs, go do that. Now, I'm going to tell you to lean into the pain. I'm going to tell you it's good for you. It creates resilience. You're refined by the fire. It makes you dangerous. Okay? And I'll sit here with you and I'll go through it with you. One of the things that you'll see with my team that I do a lot, I work out with them all the time. You always see us running together and working out because when you guys suffer with your team, they go through this connection with you that's the most dangerous thing ever. I use health as a, an important part to two things, to bond my company together, and I think you guys can do the same thing too at any age, you're 60 years old here, who gives a shit starting out? You wanna live longer anyways, right? Do it. But a second thing is, I don't talk about numbers all the time, Max. If me and you only have a business relationship, if me and Max only have numbers, how many did you sell? How many, how, wh what's going on with business? If that's all we can talk about, but we don't talk about eating right, we don't talk about fitness, we don't talk about God, we don't talk about our family. At the end of the day, me and Max have nothing in common but numbers. And at the end of the day, Max isn't gonna look up to me. But if I can do this, if I can be like, hey Max, hey, tell me what's going on. Are you eating clean? We gotta make good decisions. Cheeseburgers, pizza, grilled chicken, brown rice. What do you wanna choose? Good decisions. Okay, the, the life you have today is because of the decisions you made yesterday. The life you're going to have tomorrow because of the decisions you make today. I'm going to help you become a savage. I'm, I promise you. You start helping them do that, and next thing you know, it's like, dude, they, they start to do life with you. They start to lean into you for everything. Hey, by the way, I love this. So if you want to really kill it in 2024, this is me. Everybody is going to look up to who's around them, or they're not. If people are on social media looking around for somebody to look up to and you're right in front of my face, clearly you're not doing your job. You guys should live the most exciting lives. You guys should be the most charismatic people, the most interesting people, the people that create change in their lives so they're not digging on their phone. So literally, they're getting all their endorphins firing from being and learning from you. I basically, when you walk out of here, want you guys to write down, I said, who do you want to recruit? Who do you want to have work for you? Now, I want you to be the leader that those people would want to go work for. And that means a lot of you in here, probably 99% of you, have to completely change everything in your life. Now, don't you guys want to change a lot of shit in your life? Yep. I mean, don't you guys want to go home and be better to your families? Yes. You know, don't you guys, you know, like, like want to mentor people instead of be their boss? I mean, don't you guys want people to go into the field and be like, dude, I don't want to let my boss down? You know, I don't want to let my leader down today? Instead of saying, God, my, my boss is on my ass. It's like, dude, listen to me. When you become this person for, for, for them, I'm going to tell you what your team will do. And this is what I'm going to finish. I said I was going to do that earlier, but remember I said unrecruitable team? I want your team to work for you. This is the goal. And to believe that they can't believe that they, they have a, a job with you. To be like, like, what's the scariest thing that could happen to you, Max? To not work here. That'd be the scariest thing. I found my identity here. I found love here, my heart's full here, I'm fulfilled here, I built my life here, I don't ever want to be anywhere else. I don't care about the rest of the world, 
I, I create my own economy, I create my own reality. This is my life, I don't wanna do anything else. This is all I wanna do. I wanna work seven days a week, I wanna do this all the time. And you're like, dude, get out of here. And they're like, no man, let me stay. You're like, get out of here. They're like, come on, let me stay. You're like, dude, go home. They don't wanna leave. I had to put hours on my office because nobody would leave. I literally did, I had to set the alarm at night. I told them at 10 o'clock, the alarm's going off, you have to be out of the building. Get out, and you can't get back in till six. They were staying until 2 a.m. and coming back at 4 a.m. They don't want to leave. Now, you may say, well, what are you doing to them? I'm doing exactly what I just told you guys to do. And you know what I want you to do? I want, if you guys died today, your kids are looking up to you. I want them to see you actually impact and change people's lives. Also, on top of that, when you go home with your husband or wife or boyfriend or girlfriend, I want them to be proud of you. I want them to be like, it's just not about money, Max. Like, I want your wife to be like, my husband literally changes people's lives. That's what he lives for. And he gets paid very well to do it. But I love that his heart is in his, his people. Also, I want you guys, lastly, to look in the mirror and be proud of you. I'm going to tell you this. If you can get anyone to look in the mirror and be proud of themselves, whoever made that happen, they're with you for life. Every person that comes across your, 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 your face from now on, you're the coach. Pep talk them. Build them up. Tell them who they are. Recreate their identity. Be the truth. Don't be a fraud either. Because a lot of you in here, what will go wrong is that you believe what I'm telling you and you could see the life you could have if you could do this. But somewhere along the way, you'll want to quit and revert and go back and you'll want to cheat. Or you'll want to go do something that you told them not to do. The second they found out that you have a double standard, all of them will quit believing in you. So I call this the highest level of accountability. Whoever wants to make the most money in here will be the one that'll say, I want the most accountability. Okay, you know why I get on social media? Because everybody can see my change every day. They can see my company grow, they can see my life grow, they can see everything. Social media is the greatest accountability tool in the world. Now a lot of people are fake, not ours. You see my building, you see my team, you see what we do, you see what's going on, you see our body, you see what we eat, you see the way we talk, you see the way we live, you see the energy we have. Dude, if you guys keep doing that, all of a sudden, it's like, dude, you'll have a slew of people. You have 10,000 people wanting to work for you. You guys, if you can become this, step two would be get the f on social media. Do it now. And you may say, well, I don't want to get on social media. Why? Why are you so stupid? Why are you so stupid? Everybody's on their phone. People can't even drive down the road without being on the phone. They go to dinner and they're on the phone. They're at work and they're on the phone. Like, what do you mean you don't want to do it? I'm not telling you to consume it. I'm telling you to make it, right? Make social media, make it. Build your, your brand, I'm a brand. Show people the way you live. Dude, it's, an, it's refreshing for them. If you're a loser and you're going to rent a Ferrari to show people you have a Ferrari when you don't and you rented it, that's a loser. But when you're a winner and you're living life and you're showing people the way you live your life, people are gonna be like, dude, I wanna be like those guys. So I just wanna tell you guys that like, I'm, I'm really happy to be here. If you guys wanna change Meraki, and your own lives because it is all the same but like your children and your kids and your future kids and your bloodline you know that means a lot to me you know like changing my own bloodline and build this beautiful company Meraki for real no fucking hype game bullshit yeah like really let's go do it everybody's going to make a commitment number one we don't ever talk shit on anybody in the company ever again no matter what happens if somebody does something in the company, like if you don't like somebody, go talk to them. I promise you there's a misunderstanding somewhere, okay? I don't ever talk about anyone at all if they're not in the room with me, no matter what. If I don't like you and you're not in the room, I won't tell him I don't like you. I'll wait until I run into you and I'm like, come here, let's go talk. I'm like, dude, I don't like you and I don't like not liking you. <laughs> no, 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 but I said I don't like not liking you. I don't like it. I don't like... I, me and you, you're a leader, I'm a leader, I should like you, I should not not like you. But for some reason I don't like you and I realize that I've got hatred because of the time that you did this and it really bothered me. And I don't like that anymore. So number one, I wanna tell you, I don't know if you meant to do that or not, but I didn't like it and it's made me not like you. But it's bad for us, so I'm sorry. And I apologize, I want us to start over from today forward. I think me and you coming together, you're a badass, I'm a badass, I think we can do big shit together. Putting your ego down and working shit out like this makes you guys the most deadliest company in the, in the world. You guys got to come together. You guys, most people, they self-sabotage themselves. Most companies, it's not somebody else that takes you out. It's you guys fuck each other up. 
internally. And your people, the way that they talk about the East and the West and all that shit you guys have with these different sides built, is the leader. So if I was the leaders, when I go back home, I'd say, hey, number one, I apologize for everything I've ever said about the East or the West. We're all one. I wouldn't be in a good leader when I told you guys that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't good to me. We're a family, we're a team, okay? So from this point forward, no negativity from anybody. And if we don't like something, guess what? There's gonna be problems. The only time there are no problems is when we get out of the ring. And we're always gonna be in the ring. So they're our family, we love them, we'll work it out, okay? But from now on, I wanna inspire them to do more and I hope they inspire us to do more. But we are a family and I want Meraki on every house in the world, so that's the way we're gonna do this. That's the goal. And I don't ever know, one day you might be on the east or one day I might have to go to the west. You never fucking know. So like, we don't need this shit. It's, uh, we compete externally, not internally. We need to go fuck up other solar companies, not our own. You guys come together like this. You guys change who you guys are as people. I promise you, man. Dude, we'll take over the world. So I just want to tell you guys, I love you. I appreciate you. You guys are awesome. We're all the same. All of us are the same. We're all salespeople in here, okay? And salespeople have the most craziest fucked up lives. Okay, and the reason why is most of the time because we worked around the wrong people. We worked around bad people, but now you're around the right people. If there's ever been a time in your life to change, it's right now. If there's ever been a time in the market that everybody's thirsty for leaders, it's right now. So no more I'm the boss, we're, right now we're coaches. We're gonna fucking coach everybody to greatness. But you gotta be who you tell them they can be because they're gonna have to see it in you. So, everybody ready to go fuck it up? Hey guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.